Yes, blow a kiss. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bop, bop. <laughs> Hi, beauties and curls. This is part two of my empties. These are makeup empties. Y'all, this is full of like, oh, this is full of like skincare, probably like more makeup than anything. But without further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay, so I'm going to let you know if I'm going to repurchase it or not. A lot of stuff I have decluttered. I'm still in declutter mode. I have a bag over here of stuff that I've decluttered. I think right now I'm kind of good with my collection based upon what I have. I need to go through makeup bags, but let's just get straight into the empties. The first thing that I'm going to pull out is the foundation primer by Laura Mercier. This is in Radiance Bronze. Now, this is not sold at Sephora, but I did find this in the store. I love this because it's like a tinted like glow for me. I would repurchase this and the next semi-annual, not semi-annual sale, the VIB sale. Gonna get it. Oh, you can get this from Nordstrom too. So I really like that. I had to put this in an envelope because this I only wanted to use this and the lid broke off and it just started started getting messy. This is the cover girl. Um, this is the bronze contour and highlight cream palette and medium i like this this is the contour palette i liked it a lot but i'm going to toss this because i don't like when the lids and stuff pop off of this it, i get so frustrated i don't use it a lot because i don't want to have to reattach lids and stuff so if the packaging is flimsy like that i have gotten well i don't tolerate that anymore so to be honest with you cheap packaging once it's gone, it's gone. I don't revisit it. Okay, I'm going to get a handful of mascaras because I go through mascaras so much that, um, yeah, this is crazy. Look how many mascaras. This is how long I have held these makeup empties, okay? But we're going to get through these because I want to get, I, I just want to recycle this stuff. I have two of the Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara and I would repurchase. I love the packaging. Tarte makes some really good mascaras to me. Roller Lash. I have one already. I really like this. This is probably in my top five of favorite mascaras, like in terms of like mid-level because I do have some favorites that are high-end but um yeah I really like this I would repurchase that the covergirl so lashy lash pro y'all this almost stabbed me in my eye I am not repurchasing it's one of those that have the balls the balls <laughs> this is the one that has the ball at the end and this part right here sticks me in the eye um I liked it in the beginning but then I was like okay I need some usually when you're it this one you have to take your time with most of the time when I'm putting on mascara I'm in a rush so this would definitely stab me in the eye yes it has before the Lord restored my sight this is the voluminous lash paradise I didn't like this so much just because this is in black brown I need to get it in black as black it I was not convinced on this one a lot of people say that this is a dupe to the better than sex mascara by Too Faced I don't agree with that but that's maybe because I don't have the black and usually I get the black is black I don't know how I ended up with black brown but that I won't be repurchasing I may get the black is black to give it a chance this is the shocking extensions telescopic by L'Oreal I did not like this at all I felt like it dried out on me too quickly but the carbon black I like a lot do I have the carbon black in my hand no this one by Pacifica. This is the Dream Big. I love this. This reminds me of the Hot and Naughty. This, if you like the Hot and Naughty by MAC, you're going to love this because it pretty much does the same thing. It actually is short and then you can twist this and it makes it long. The same concept as the Hot and Naughty by MAC. And I want to say that this one is not, this one might be up there, but I really do still like that. I would repurchase it. I think I have a backup of that. This is the Lash Accelerator. I love this for my bottom lashes. This is definitely a repurchase for me. This is by Rimmel. <laughs> Let me hurry up before Joe gets here. This is the Tartiest by Tarte. I love this mascara. I love this mascara. I probably have about, about five or six of these. I don't need another drop of a mascara until I go through what I have. I already purchased this. I already have some more of it. This is the e.l.f. Lash Primer. This was not bad at all, but I like the L'Oreal better. Um, this was okay. It was a meh. Would I repurchase it? No. This is the Falsies Push-Up Drama by Maybelline. I feel like Maybelline makes the best mascaras from the drugstore. This is an amazing one if you like long, maybe even spidery. I love this mascara. 
and it goes a long way one of the best mascaras that i have tried a lot in a long time from the drugstore this is from mally beauty it was memorable and um i would not repurchase this okay any more mascaras i do this is by makeup forever this is the aqua smoky extravagant this is their waterproof mascara now usually i do not like waterproof but i like this one and it gave me a smoky eye i really did enjoy it let me let you see the brush because the brush tells it all and yes ma'am i love it because it gives a flare so this was a good high-end mascara i would would i repurchase that yes i would this one blah blah the rocket volume express by maybelline this is probably one of maybelline's worst mascaras in my head um but i did not like this at all i did not that and the colossal like the spidery one whatever this one look at this brush did nothing for me um no they're real i have one of these i really like this the only thing i don't like about the benefit they're real is that it dries out so so quickly so i would not repurchase this although i have a backup probably seeing another empties i'm using it right now i like the roller lash a lot better and i've tried the bag out i like that one and um i would repurchase that instead of the real they're real but benefit does make some really good mascaras this one is a makeup forever this is is this a mascara like empties uh this is the smoky extravagant original this is not the waterproof this is the regular one and i really liked this one it lasted a long time makeup forever makes some really good underrated to me mascaras this is one of the best this is the best mascara this is in my top i would say my top three this is the makeup forever excessive lash this is so good oh my goodness if you want some length and volume and it is amazing on the bottom lash yes ma'am this is one of the best mascaras. These are some minis that I have. This is the Pure Fully Charge. This was meh, okay. I got it from a um, Ipsy Glam Bag. It was okay. Not my favorite. Would I repurchase it? No, but I will take it if it's in a glam bag or something. The Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This was not bad at all. Um, I actually enjoyed this big brush in this small little container. I like it in its mini size. I don't like it in its full size. This is um, it all the letters, but I can tell you this is the Hypno Hypnos Drama by Lancome. This is one of my favorite mascaras of all time. I really like it. I even love the curve on it. It's probably in my top three. Okay, this is a really good mascara. Revlon. This is the ultimate all-in-one. Hated this. Um, and Revlon to me does not make as good mascaras as anybody else did not like it the lash vault this is the lash domination by bare minerals this was a really good mascara i also have it in the mini form i really like this one would i repurchase it i have way too many that i love more than this but this was a good mascara better than sex in my top in my top three i would say this is the fiber size by covergirl this is the best I feel like this is the best mascara one of the best mascaras from the drugstore i can probably do a top five from them too but a very different type of brush but i really do like this i am a mascara connoisseur don't get it twisted look how many mascaras i have this is the motives this was a really good one too this was just not readily available but this was a really good mascara and it lasted a long time would i repurchase it um no because i can't find motives anywhere and i'm one of those in terms of mascara i like to go in and just pick it up for some reason if i like it then i'll reorder it but for the first time i don't know I, it's something about me having to go purchase it but no um i liked it a lot though it's a good mascara it's just i wouldn't be able to pick it up anywhere another oh this is the mark jacobs this is the omega i like this one this was a good mascara this is from ico this is the matte black magic mascara this is the drama and curl I don't really like a lot of curl because I already have some curl. This one curled even more on me, so I didn't like it. But if you need some, uh, if you need a mascara that has a curl, then this I would say get. It was a good mascara. Let's go into things. I needed to do this back to back anyway, but this is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is in uh, NC42. I really liked it. 
I will repurchase it. I actually got this in a lighter shade because this is my exact shade for foundation. This is something that you could do and take this if you didn't want to take your foundation shade. Get it in the concealer form of this and um, it's really good. So I will repurchase this. I um, already have one of these. This is the mini form of the Mary Kay. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover. Best eye makeup remover of all time. This is my favorite. A repurchase I might keep that little bottle just for travel because I want to refill it I think I'm gonna do that the Becca shimmering skin perfector in opal yes really like this I would purchase the full size of this because of this sample I really liked it I love glow so yes ma'am aqua what is this the Becca aqua luminous perfecting foundation hated it um, I wanted to talk about it was one of the worst foundations that broke up on me I was gonna say of all time but of ever really did not like this this is a one I would never repurchase again although Becca makes really good complexion I don't know what happened with this I do not like it Lorac pore perfection concealer I really like it just got old on me but it's a really good one it is thick but it is a really good concealer I would repurchase that this is the Urban Decay All Nighter make Makeup Setting Spray because of this small one I want to get a larger one this is one of the one of my favorite makeup setting sprays that I actually can tell that it made my makeup last I like I can't even keep it out of my hands I liked it I would repurchase it SPF y'all saw this in a Project Pam, but this is the Lancome Mini Fat. Yes, repurchase. Okay, the NARS. Um, this is the this is in Syracuse. This is the Aqua. No, this is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Love it. I would repurchase it. Yes, but I like the sheer glow better. But I would repurchase this just to mix in it. Not NARS makes amazing comp like foundations to me. Really like that one. This is the Briogeo. Don't despair repair this was good it didn't wow me though y'all for real I need to try this again and I do have a larger size maybe I didn't try this enough but usually I can tell from the first jump on you know from the first jump no on the first time that I use a product usually I can tell if it's a really good conditioner I couldn't tell I couldn't remember this I can't remember if it was good or if I didn't like it you know what I mean so I need to try this again so I would repurchase it just out of curiosity. This is from Blink. This is actually the mascara um, Amplify. It's a tubing mascara. Did not like it. Would not repurchase it. Actually, I got it from BoxyCharm. So I did pay for it, but not full price. Okay. Wet n Wild Concealer. Did not like this. I still have something in here. It broke up on me. Um, I, this is a product that I changed my mind about because I thought I really liked this before. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. better concealers at the drugstore that one no this is chelsea girls by nars i love this mini i would repurchase the lip gloss i like that formula from nars this is also color stone this is my most used most loved liquid lipstick of all time those are colors makes great formulations when it comes to their liquid lipsticks because i don't like a lot of them but i really like this and i have another one of these but it looks so good on my skin and I really like how it looks. Repurchase, already done. This is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. Now this is one of the few eyeliners that I have actually gone all the way through. And this is in the shade Espresso. Very good, ex um, this is a like self sharpening type of eyeliner. CoverGirl came through with this, I really like it. This is the Hypnos Drama again by Lancome. This is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Pure Gold. I really like these from NYX. I just let it go bad and um, yeah, it's lightweight. Uh, it's a liquid illuminator. I would repurchase this. This is, let's see, let's smell this. I don't know. Oh, this, this is leaves. This is how long I've had that in there. A fall bulb. Hey, Joe, come in. What? Say hi. Good. Come over here. No, no jumping. Say hi. Hi. Okay, come here. Oh. Lorac, this is their Lip Luster Cream. I got this from a set years ago. Y'all, 
this was really good. I like Lorac's formulations of the lip glosses. I would repurchase. This is one from Makeup Forever. This is in 102P. Really good lip glosses from Makeup Forever. I would repurchase. Lights, camera, flashes. I did not like this formulation. I like the lights, camera, lashes. No, I would not repurchase that. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. This is kind of like, I don't even want to say it's a dupe because I actually like the RX Hangover, but it's on that lines with the coconut in it. It is a primer. I do have a full size of this and I am going to get through it. It's okay, but it's not the best. I like the Too Faced better. It Cosmetics. This is the Hello Lashes. This was not bad at all, but is not memorable to the point where I liked it. So, wouldn't repurchase it. This is the NARS Smudge Proof. This is the Pro Base. No, Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Best eyeshadow primer of life. Like, with no coloring. This is amazing. I would repurchase it. Yes. We are getting through these, you guys. This is from... A more Pacific. This is the moisturized moisture bomb bound rejuvenating cream. It was not bad. I liked it. It was smooth. But I repurchased it. Mm, maybe <laughs> to be honest with you. This is Zoom Lash by Mac. This was really good. Would I repurchase it if it's on sale from Mac? This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This wasn't bad at all. I would get it in this size though. I think I would be wasting money if I got the large size. I got this from a Sephora Play Box. So. I did like it, but I wouldn't repurchase. I wouldn't purchase the large. I would get a small. This is Dose of Colors in Sand. I like this to like mix with other liquid lipsticks because it's too pale to wear it on its own, but it's amazing to put in the center of the lips to make them look that bigger. This is from Kiss. This is in Jet Black. Oh, this is a quick cover. This is like you cover up your grays and stuff. I like the sprays better. I do not like this because this pulls out your hair. No, 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 ma'am. Superhero by It Cosmetics. Love this. Repurchase. This is the Shiseido Ultimate Eye Power Infusing Concentrate. I like this a lot. I would buy the full size. So that's a repurchase. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Y'all know that's one of my loves. This is in Biscuit. Would I repurchase? Of course. And the last product. This is from a brand called Hanalei. This is their lip treatment. I really like this. I hope I get this from... I really like this a lot. It reminds me a lot of my Jouer lip treatment. Joe thinks he's singing. I really like this a lot, so I would repurchase this. Um, I really like that. I like that a lot. These are my beauty empties. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And comment down below. I will put how many we are close. We're, I'm sure we're close. I, I just went through so many products right now. I know we're close to like, we're cl we should be over 200 by now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Say bye Joe. Bye. <laughs> Come. Come here. Wait. Just want to be in the frame. Ugh. Say hi. I want you to say hi to everybody. Hi. Okay, now blow a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Oh. So thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Blow a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, bye.